This video was made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please subscribe to this channel for the latest videos. Today we are going to be discussing like and unlike terms. Now terms consist of numerical coefficients and alphabetical coefficients. If we look at the expression 2x squared, 2 is the numerical coefficient and x squared is the alphabetical coefficient. We can only add or subtract terms when the alphabetical coefficients are the same. For example, 2x squared plus 3x squared is equal to 5x squared. Now 2x squared and 3x squared, they are called like terms. When the alphabetical coefficients are different, we cannot add the terms. Let's look at the expression 3x squared y plus 5x. Are they like terms? No, because the alphabetical coefficients are not the same. In order for us to add them, this expression must be the same as that. And it's not the same, so we cannot add them. Now what about 5x squared minus 2xy plus 3xy plus 4x squared? Can we add those terms together? Well, we can, but we can only add 5x squared to 4x squared and we can add negative 2xy to positive 3xy. Now there are two methods for solving for this expression. We can use the horizontal method or we can use the vertical or column method. When it's written out like this, um, this is called the horizontal method because everything is written in one line. So what we do is we can say 5x squared plus 4x squared, that will give you 9x squared, minus 2xy plus 3xy will give you positive 1xy. The vertical method involves us writing the terms down in a column below one another, the like terms below one another. So we have 5x squared and 4x squared and then minus 2xy plus 3xy. And what we do is we add down. Let's try another example. Subtract 3x squared minus 4x plus 2 from negative 6x squared plus 9x minus 7. Which expression will be on top? The one that follows the word from. The one that follows the word from will be on top. So negative 6x squared plus 9x minus 7 is the first expression we write down. So this is how it will be set out. But before we, we continue, I want to remind you of something. When we have a negative in front of an expression, that is actually an invisible one. And what must we do with that invisible one? We've got to multiply that invisible one into the bracket. So all the signs will change. So let's do that. So negative one times three x squared will be negative three x squared negative 1 times negative 4x is positive 4x and negative 1 times positive 2 will give us a negative 2. Now you might be wondering why I'm showing you this. This is because we have a negative in front of this expression and therefore all the signs will change because this rule needs to apply that we need to multiply in. So this will change to a negative, that will change to a positive, and that will change to a negative. Now that we've changed all the signs, we can simplify and say that minus 7 minus 2 is minus 9, positive 9 plus 4 is positive 13x, and minus 6x squared minus 3x squared is minus 9x squared. Let's do one more. Okay, so from the sum of 2x squared y minus 7x squared y and 
13x squared y squared plus 3x squared y subtract 6x squared y squared minus 5x squared y. So where do we begin? It says from the sum of and when we see from the sum of we know we must add. What do we need to add? We need to add 2x we need to add 2x squared y minus 7x squared y squared and 13x squared y squared plus 3x squared y. Let's do that. So as you can see, I've written it using the vertical method, the column method, and I've said positive 2x squared y plus 3x squared y is 5x squared y and minus 7x squared y squared plus 13x squared y squared will give me 6x squared y squared. Now we need to subtract 6x squared y squared minus 5x squared y. But remember what we said in the previous in the previous section? The signs will have to change. We need to multiply this negative out. So let's do that. We'll see here that this was a positive 6x squared y squared and a negative times a positive is a negative. A negative times a negative is a positive. So these green signs are the new signs that we will use. So 5x squared y plus 5x squared y will give us 10x squared y and 6x squared y squared minus 6x squared y squared will give us 0. These notes here are just to help you remember what to do when you need to multiply. Remember that a negative times a negative is a positive. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. And a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So we can, to help us remember, we can also use this. Negi, negi, pos, neg, pos, negi. In other words, negative times or divided by a negative will give you a positive and a negative times or divided by a positive will give you a negative. Thank you for watching with us and then if you need tuition in maths, English, Afrikaans, accounting or physics for grades 1 to 12, please feel free to contact me on the number on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.